since Typhoon Katsana caused flooding in the Philippines last year, which was partially blamed on the plastic bags that clogged up the drains and stopped the water running away, city volunteers have been promoting recycling work with local residents, especially in the Marikina area of the capital. Now there are already more than 100 recycling stations in Metro Manila. Beginning August, the San Juan city area of the capital established an environmental service point of its own. The simple pavilion by the roadside, which is like a drive-by recycling station, is proving popular with residents. Here in San Juan City in Metro Manila, since August 7th of this year, every Saturday a tent is set up by the roadside as a makeshift environmental station. Volunteers bring recyclables from home to sort before they go to surrounding communities to promote their work. Even passing cars get some airtime. When I go somewhere, especially on Saturday mornings, I come to donate my plastic bottles to help people and the country. I drive past here quite often and I always bring some plastic bottles for them to help the poor and needy. Among the donors is Carmelita Guevara, whose relative once received cataract treatment at City's free clinic. Today, Carmelita happily gives away her old clothes before a bittersweet realization washed over her. I'm both happy and sad at the same time. My wealthier relatives can give Tsuji so much more than I do. My family is poor and this is all I can offer. Whatever one's social or economic status, it is the love that counts. By this weekly two-hour recycling activity, residents are joining hands with Tsuji volunteers to care for our earth.